two important theories that describe the behavior of the very small and the very large in our universe. Hey everybody, today I'm showing you another cool pair of headphones from the guys at Tozo. This is the Tozo HD2. It has an ANC and ENC noise cancellation. It's a hybrid system. It has 16 EQ presets. It has six noise cancellation modes. It has about 60 hours of battery life with 38 dB noise cancellation performance. These guys were kind enough to send me one of these to review. Let's see what's inside. So the package is very similar to the other Tozo products that I've covered. It's just a little bit bigger. This has a foldable design, so you can easily fit it in this small box, but then you can open it and actually use the headphone. You get your cables here to charge it. You also have your other cable to attach it to your audio devices, just in case. So you get these two cables. This is a USB-C. And this is your audio cable. As far as this, it has these buttons to hold calls, to increase your volume, to change your music, your standard stuff. You can remove these. This is everything that you get. You get these cables, you get these headphones. This is your charging port. You have three microphones for noise cancellation. You have this button here for noise cancellation. You turn it on with this. These are marked so you can make adjustments like this. So if you have a bigger head, you just change that. It's just standard stuff. These are pretty soft, so they go easy on your ears. This is also soft. They do explain to you what each of these buttons actually does. You can charge, you can activate noise cancellation. You have a switch, you, have, you can change volume. The shortcuts are helpful if you want to take a call, if you want to reject a call, activate voice assistant by triple tapping. It's very similar to the Tozo Golden X1 and open bots and tonal dots that I've covered on the channel. So you may want to check them out, but those also had a similar mechanism for activating the voice assistant. You can not only change the direction like this, but you can also fold them like that. And that's actually how you can fit this in the box that it came. Because other than that, you're not gonna be able to, the box is too small. So that's the folding mechanism that is available. So this is the weight, about 253 grams. If you've used the app in the past, you're gonna find the interface familiar. It has all the ones that have already used lined up there. Now I wanna add this one. So for that to happen, I have to connect it to Bluetooth. First, we unfold it. You turn it on by pressing this button. This has shown up here. Now it's connected. Now if I go to the Tozo app, I'll be able to add it. And here I can access these different cancellation modes. There are six of them. You can upgrade, you can change different functions. The EQ settings are available here. We have all these 16 different sound effects. You can also play around and save it. So I can actually go and change this here and save it as a new preset. You can upgrade your firmware here. I can change where these show up. So I changed that order and now the EQ settings are first. The neat thing about this is that you can manage all your devices from the one app. So I can have my Golden X1 and I can have this and whichever is paired, I'll be able to actually use.
that pauses. If I tap this three times, I should be able to access Siri. Siri, what time is it? Now all these other functions are explained here. If you hold those two buttons, you can actually reset to factory settings. Siri, what's the date? If you have a playlist, if you hold this, it will go forward. If you hold this, you go, it goes to the previous song. Now I'm going to actually use these different EQ settings. First, let's go to the max level. So this is my own customization here. So you have a bunch of modes here. You have the adaptive mode, which applies automatic noise reduction. You have the noise cancellation mode that blocks external noise. You have the transparency mode that lets you hear the ambient sounds. You can use the wind effect. So all these options are available. You can play out see which one actually you're comfortable with. You can also update the firmware. It takes about 10 minutes, they say. Once the process is complete, it tells you whether it's a success or failure. I don't see any major changes. You can see the battery life here. This is the HT2 from the guys at Tozo. Now I have these from the same company, the Tonal Bots, the Open Bots, and the Golden X one, which is the most expensive one. Now this doesn't need a case. These do have a case. This is a high fidelity pair of earphones. I can remove these to start pairing them. I can actually pair them using the same app. I can tap three times again to access Siri, so very similar interface. The EQs are different. The noise cancellation settings are a little bit maybe different. This also has six. The EQs, you can access them here, but it's just all the same app. Open the app, I'm gonna see all my connected devices. That is the only one connected here. So music starts playing from this when I tap on it. If I press this button here, I can switch to this and actually move from one device to the other by just interacting with it and knows which one is active and automatically switches to that. So this is as compact as you can get when you're not using it. You can just hold this to turn it off. Just in case you don't need something that big, you can always try these different products from these guys. I personally like these the best because it's just the style I like when listening to music. And that's actually how you pick up the phone. And I'm talking through my other phone. So you press this once to accept, you hold it for two seconds to reject. Let's do the rejection. button here changes mode from off to pass through to ANC on so this is something also to be aware of and you have the option to actually connect it here in order to use the auxiliary function when it is off you can just use this cable to connect it to an audio source and if it's turned on and you do it it's gonna turn off so that's an option that I'll probably never gonna use but in case you need a wired connection to listen to music or any other content, that option is available. So I'm going to use this with ChatGPT. I'm just going to connect it to this port here. ChatGPT, I'm going to need you to tell me a very hard math riddle. I'm gonna attach this again. 
should turn it off. Chat GPT, can you tell me a hard physics riddle? So I brought this outside. That's the max level as far as the audio. The traditional zoo hypothesis suggests that extraterrestrial civilizations are aware of us, but choose not to contact us, treating Earth like a nature reserve or a zoo. Taking this further, imagine if the universe itself is a grand simulation or experiment run by higher dimensional beings. In this scenario, Earth and humanity could be under observation as part of a vast study or entertainment for these beings. That contact with extraterrestrial life does not occur to maintain the integrity of their experiment or narrative. Instruments cannot detect. This dimensional phase variation could mean that these civilizations are all around us, or even intersecting with our space. Multiple states at the same time and can interact with each other in ways that cannot be predicted with certainty. Quantum mechanics is a fundamental theory in physics that has led to many technological advancements, such as computer chips and lasers. As are attracted to each other because they cause a curvature in the fabric of space-time. Relativity is also a fundamental theory in physics that has led to many technological. 